You made this hat, and it's yes. incredible. I want to hear about it. Hi, all right, so um, my other, other hobby is Burning Man. This is my playa hat. I just covered it in tinfoil. But oh. the problem is, so the problem is, uh, I, it has the ears, and the ears are structural. And when I built it, the ears are kind of locked in position. So what I accidentally made was a blindfold. <laughs> And I'm like, well, I can't walk around like this. But if you turn it around, now the angle is backwards instead of forwards. Oh my God. And it's also deeply unsettling to watch me walk away with that thing in my back. And the more unsettling option is always the better answer. That is this a good is DEF CON. Yeah. That is a good point. Yeah. When I mean, how did it score? Uh, it's an antenna. Oh good. <laughs> I am I am on, I am bringing the waves in. Uh, they're hacking my meats. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That uh, is. They're hacking sad. my meats. <laughs> We're at the Tinfoil Hat Contest, and again at DEF CON 30, they are showing some pretty awesome things. And it's not what I would expect because it's not just hey make a tinfoil hat this goes yeah. beyond just making a i mean tin we're, we're, we're doing you know true science here so um we actually are, are uh, the head has a receiver in it and then there's a control antenna and then there's transmitters all throughout the room uh, one that's ours and then there's there's several others and uh, so we essentially are me measuring the delta uh between the two signal receivers. So the better you block the signal, the, the better your score. Or, you know, a lot of people are making really good antennas and just reflecting those CIA mind control rays straight into our mannequin's brain. So, <laughs> so I have a question. Well, I've seen so many different designs. Can you give me tips before I make mine? What What's a good way of doing one? Um, I mean, to be honest, RF is magic. So... <laughs> You'd have a design that you would think would be good, and it doesn't do good. Some, you know, you, they do like this real minimal design and just get it just right, and they sc score well. So, uh, we personally like when you're creative and go all out and have like, you know, one year we had uh, a lady she made like this giant uh, predator head from uh, Alien, and uh, had people make the James Webb Space Telescope and. All sorts of manner of ridiculousness. So it's not always like someone who's doing like way more tin foil, like where it's a ton of tin foil, which makes it better signal stopper. Sometimes it's even just the light, quick ones. Yeah, yeah, S small ones. That it depends on how well you are at, at reflecting the RF essentially away from the receiving how long, antenna. How long has tin foil hat contest been a thing at DEF CON? It's been a while. I've lost count because. Uh, I took it over from one of the psychologists that were running it for a couple of years, and then I ran it for uh, several years, and I've always been helping with it. Uh, and now uh, Lunchbox, she's the one that's the primary on it. So. Okay. So is your favorite one the Predator hat, or do you remember other ones? That one's pretty good. Uh, I think my favorite was... Uh, several years back, this this girl and her mother, they spent like the entire con working on this hat and it was beautiful. Like they went and got like different colored foil and like they had like these things. It was 100% foil, like no, no fasteners or glue or anything. And you had things coming out with like chandelier stuff going down the side. It looked beautiful. So that, that I think that's my favorite hat I've seen so yeah. far. Well, Crux, thank, thanks for sharing. Again, always, this is like one of those contests that's just such, I love it because it's so approachable. It's so easy to yeah, just anyone can make try. a hat. Yeah. And it's impressive. I'm looking around, we'll have to get some B-roll of it, but it is so much fun. Uh, thanks, Crux. Thanks for watching, and hack on.